Hello guys, so uh, my name is Ishan Vatsa and uh, my name is Ishan Vatsa and uh, I will be offering to you a course on uh, classical electronics And uh, this course would be offered at a uh, level of the uh, uh, senior undergraduates or the graduates that uh, by which I mean uh, the third uh, or fourth year, fourth year uh, BSc persons or uh, first year MSc students so this course uh, why would you, uh, why would I uh, add on to the list of courses uh, that are already there many of them are there on the on the internet well I shall take a very different approach as uh, opposed to an, a very mathematical one as opposed to uh, books like uh, we have seen like Jackson in which uh, I would say the first uh, five chapters are totally based on boundary value problems, solid boundary value problems and on the things like that but I would like to offer this course because this course is primarily aimed as a foundation course uh, to go to quantum electrodynamics and classical and QFT that is uh, quantum field theory uh, and quantum electrodynamics and uh, because this course will have a very uh, uh, theoretical point of view from the beginning end at all, onwards and uh, the text I'll be considering for this I'll be referring and be, and be following for this is uh, Classical Electrodynamics by Schwinger I'm sorry, I forgot his first name uh, Julian Schwinger so this is the Indian edition, classical electrodynamics, and uh, maybe I could, uh, maybe I could just uh, show it to you. This is classical electrodynamics Indian edition, and uh, you could buy this for just uh, say a thousand rupees or something like that. And this is uh, this course is uh, well. While it is uh, helpful the most for theoretical physicists, uh, people who are aspiring to work in uh, very theoretical fields like uh, quantum, uh, quantum, uh, quantum electronics, uh, cosmology, uh, general relativity, and uh, it, this course is also not, uh, you know, I could also not say that this course is not useful for experimentalists at the same time uh, and so this course uh, basically I shall cover this course in uh, a series uh, the topics of this course are uh, exactly the same maybe a little bit around in there uh, from the book Julian uh, Schwinger but uh, it consists of the usual topics of classical electrodynamics apart from that we should also be doing some good exercises this book contains uh, really good exercises and I'll be solving them, some of them and uh, I hope uh, this approach towards electrodynamics and, and I'll be explaining all the mathematical methods that we need 
to go through this book uh, as they come. So if you are weak in your mathematical methods, it's no problem. I'll be covering them also as we need them. So uh, let's uh, begin our uh, our journey towards uh, this uh, topic classical electronics and this approach that we are taking this approach that we are taking and uh, so I will assume that uh, you are already familiar with uh, uh, the uh, classical electrodynamics, the equations of uh, the Max's equations uh, up to a certain extent and uh, well if you are not familiar also uh, you can do this course in fact uh, first year people can also do this course if they are interested they, if they, if they are very ambitious uh, because uh, as I said all the mathematical methods should be taken care of by me uh, uh, but uh, the thing is uh, that um, it is always helps if you have a prerequisite uh, with, with, with uh, electrodynamics. So, as Schwinger said that uh, studying electrodynamics is something like studying history in school. You study it again and again. But uh, he said that in this book, this will be the final uh, approach in classical electronics. We will also in this book, uh, in this um, whole course, discover that uh, uh, you know, you will understand from a very researcher's point of view, very theoretical physicist point of view, the many open questions that we have in electrodynamics and why it is still not a closed subject and it is not so dull as it may seem so uh, yeah on that note on that note I shall uh, I shall be I shall be uh, starting I will, I will take uh, lectures of uh, 20 minutes each uh, there will be images of 20 minutes and I'll post them on regular intervals uh, since I have uh, other projects that I'm working on currently uh, I will be uh, I, will, I may be busy some weeks but uh, uh, I will be posting them regularly and the lectures will be of 20 minutes each and uh, some of them will be dedicated to doing exercises or uh, some of them we will refer you I will refer you to some research papers that you can go through if you are interested more in the topic and uh, so on that note I'll uh, uh, end this video and See you in the first lecture that uh, I'm going to post soon. So, uh, this first lecture will be on the uh, Maxwell's equations, and we'll talk about the Maxwell's. We'll, uh, even in fact, derive or infer, not derive is a wrong word actually. I will I tend, intend to infer the Maxwell's equations and uh, yeah so see ya and uh, let me know if you have any questions or suggestions to about the approach or anything about the subject thank you